welcome to A Life Full of Meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And together we sold a house, we got rid of all of our stuff, we bought a narrow boat called Nutshell, we sold Nutshell, and now... We're looking for another narrow boat for weekends, holidays and short breaks. And we're currently living in a little house. And we've got the caravan in Devon still, obviously. Yeah, obviously. And amongst all of that, we are trying to find a more meaningful way to live. This week's video starts a bit low level. Don't worry, ends on a high mm -hmm. and a new haircut. Yeah. So without further ado, let us show you how the week unfolded. Good morning and welcome to Saturday. Oh. Mr. Warner is through the arch window and he's cooking up a storm in the kitchen. It wow. smells good. We haven't got much in, so I'm intrigued to know what he's doing. It's nothing special. It's just, these, all this stuff needs using, so. Yeah, might as well use it. For ages, so let's get it done. Oh, Mr. Warner's cooked up a storm. Right, I'm gonna sit down with some recipe books and plan delicious food for next week. So Mrs. W's gotta to go to work. It's 20 past two, I haven't been anywhere today, which is unusual for me. I am going over to see Chili Jam Jeff, help him set up his PC ready for engine room chat on Tuesday. Sorry, engine room chat on Monday even. The weather is shocking. I'm glad I'm not out in this. It's coming into late and buzzard. Very dark and horrible. So this is where our mooring used to be, not far from here. Here we are at Jeff's. Hello, I'm back at home. I just got back from Jeff's. I've got a knit round Chloe's now. Uh, she's she's going out for something to eat, and the dogs just just need someone there in the evening if they're on their own. So I'm just going to sit around there watch a bit of telly. I've got some computer work done, and um, not much else has gone on today, people. Apart from I've still been looking through boats. Hello, good morning, and welcome to Sunday. It's a stressy time here in the Warner household. Glenn is having to deal with some tough family stuff. It's not easy, it's not pleasant, it's got to be dealt with. It's hard work, hard work. We are going to nip out to the vegan market and get some delicious food before I have to go to work. Come on, let's go. So this week is all about a makeover. Oh, it's a makeover week. It's like I'm redoing the first week in January because I felt so lousy last week. So we're redoing it. Yep. Uh, it's about positivity. It's about health. It's about feeling good. That's what we need, Mr. Warner. Are you in? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Let's do it. Right, let's see what vegan delights we can find. Mr. Warner, no sweets and sugar, all right. There's some deliciousness right there. I think we might have to give this a try in a minute. There's some more deliciousness here and some of the names of the food is very funny. I've got the chili jam one. Glenn, let's have a look at your cheeseburger. Oh, be interesting to see what you think of that vegan cheese. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's just, <clears throat> that burger was quite frankly the best burger I've ever tasted. Well it's half past two and I'm off to work. It's been drama filled to yeah, be honest. The whole day has been yeah, a... the whole day has been quite stressful. Drama um, fest. I don't I don't like it. I don't like it. I just sworn I thought she had to be at work at seven o'clock this morning. It, my rotor said that I started at three and then I looked on the app on my phone. Changed. And it changed till seven o'clock this morning and it was showing that I was late. I was like, I definitely was not working from seven. I, I rang the hotel, they said, oh no, we got you down as working from three. A kerfuffle, that's what we'll call it, a kerfuffle. Anyway, I'm off to work now, Mr. Warner. I will see you just Much after later. 11 tonight. I'm off, I'm gonna leave you in the safe hands of Mr. Warner, who's not feeling overly optimistic and happy today either, so good luck to you. So, this is Warner's gone to work. It's been a rubbish day, to be honest with you. Um, anyway, I've got a deal. I'm just off to um, Sainsbury's, well, Argos, to pick up a couple of security cameras, which I'm going to need to install tomorrow. Fed up today. 
Mrs. Warner was fed up. It don't make two two fed ups don't make a good start. I was actually quite I was alright this morning as well. I felt alright this morning, but anyway, let's uh let's get on with it. Here we go, Sainsbury's on a Sunday. Who goes shopping on a Sunday? It's chaos. So I've just arrived at the office. It is quite late. I popped around to see my mate Paul that I haven't seen for a while just to have a cup of tea with him. Yes, yeah, five o'clock. So I'm going to spend about an hour here sorting some stuff out, taking some pictures to get rid of some stuff and sell on the internet. So yeah, let's get on with it. So I'm done. I don't know what the time is actually. I have no idea. Oh, there we go. There's my phone. Let's have a look at what the time is. I've got here at five. It's now quarter to seven so that'll do um i've got quite a bit done as in listing and that there's still quite a lot of stuff here it's going to take me a while i've got to clear that bit over there which is quite a lot i'm just trying to make space for it so i've just got i'm just going to put something on to eat i've just got a pizza and i've got mrs warner one for later and i bought some extra bits and pieces from the shop i bought these security cameras i'm going to give that a go a bit later it's tp link security camera and I've just got to find some memory cards for it, but I'm pretty sure I've got some upstairs. So I've got two of those, um, and to take one, I'm going to check one out tonight, see how easy it is to install, and then hopefully it'll all be done. It'll all be done, and I'm going to take them tomorrow and install one upstairs and one downstairs, um, just for a peace of mind, really, so she can be safe. I do need to have a bit of a tidy up <clears throat> before Mrs. Warner gets home as well. I'm wearing a little bit of a mess because we've been rushing around today doing various bits and pieces so i'm gonna get gonna get some stuff put away and have a quick over good morning and welcome to monday this week is makeover week how i need this today face and nails that's step one step two at the end of this week hair yeah I'm going to be transformed. You're not going to recognise me. You're going to go, who is that woman? That'll be me. Look at my gorgeous nails. Absolutely love them. My face. Look at those brows. Not quite feeling fabulous yet. Still a little bit low energy. I'm taking lots of vitamins. I'll be back to normal soon, I am sure. Anyway, we are on our way down to St Albans. Glenn uh, has got some stuff that he needs to do with his mum. And yeah, just thought I'd let you know where we're going. We're leaving Glenn's mum's. It is 10 past, three. It's 10 past three. Heading back to Northampton now. We were just talking about what we're going to have for dinner. Glenn's got engine room chat tonight. And I've got some work I've got to do on the computer. So I'm thinking, hmm, need something quick and easy. Well, my friend. Vanessa has sent me a recipe that's basically noodles, fake chicken and chilli jam. We're not the only ones stopping off at Waitrose on the way home. The three cars in front of us have all gone that way too. The daily pilgrimage to the supermarket. The sky is such an unusual colour. I mean the sun is obviously setting but we can't see it because it's behind this layer of cloud. I've just put the dishwasher, no, we haven't even got a dishwasher. I've certainly not put that on, I've just put the washing machine on. Yes, I have. So you might not be able to hear me, but I'm gonna cook this super quick dinner. My friend Vanessa, she says it's delicious. Let's give it a go. I've got everything I need. Oh, plus a few extras. Yeah, that wasn't on the list. I'm gonna do a super quick carrot salad. So, I just got some Chinese rice vinegar. Just gonna put a bit of that in. And some sugar. Squeeze the lime juice in there too. Just give it a little squeeze. I'm literally just using a, a peeler and peeling strips into the rice wine vinegar and the sugar. There we go, I'm just gonna put that to the side. I could have put some cucumber in there as well, some strips of cucumber, but I haven't got time for that today. Just before this is ready to serve, I'm going to sprinkle some sesame seeds on and voila! If you're ever looking for an easy sauce, it's got to be this one. Chilli jam, sesame oil, soy sauce. Right, I've not measured this out. I've literally just stuck it all in a bowl, but that's looking good already. Now I've got to chop any of the big bits of fake chicken into smaller bits. The washing machine's going into full spin. First in the pan, ginger and garlic. 
That is a whole lot of spinach. Maybe a little bit more than the recipe required. I've added the noodles in now. Then we just pour this in. Man, this looks and tastes good. A sprinkle of crispy onions. That dish ready in less than 10 minutes. That's unbelievable. Uh, Glenn, yeah. how was dinner? Yeah, good. We are actually cutting in to my mum's Christmas cake. Oh, looking delish. Mum's Christmas cake was spot on. Good morning. It looks lighter than it actually is. It is five to eight and it's a Tuesday morning. I've got a bit of work at half eight because I've got to go and distribute some bags and get the larder sorted out, get the crates out of the office. So a busy morning for me. Mrs Warner went to work at seven o'clock this morning so she was up at the crack of dawn. So it's like midday. I'm absolutely shattered already. I'm trying to do three people's job and um, I just can't be in two places at the same time. So I've literally stopped for a minute just to pick some fly tipping up. Not much footage from me, sorry. I'm going to the tip now. I've got a van full of rubbish here. I've also filled the other van up with rubbish as well, which is green waste. So, and I've got more of that to pick up later. Just come to one of our buildings to get some water. Just use this kettle, do me a cup of soup. Good afternoon to you, yes, afternoon. So I left work, I jumped in the car, I whizzed to come and pick Leo up, and now we're gonna go home, nice leisurely drive home, and we're gonna get ourselves some hot chocolate. Yes. Get ourselves some hot chocolate. We're gonna sit on the sofa, Yaya's back is hurting because i've been standing up all day okay. my feet have stopped hurting my back's now hurting anyway anyway that is what we're up to i can't tell you how i am looking forward to sitting on the sofa i can't tell you leo i can't tell you it is going to be the highlight of my day it's true we're in we're home hallelujah well glenn bought some sourdough Crumpets, would you believe? Anyway, kind of get the toaster out, stick a few of those in, make a cup of tea and a hot chocolate for Leo. Then I'm putting my feet up, watching a bit of telly. What are we watching, Leo? Ninja Clash in the Land of Snow. Oh, a rather spectacular hot chocolate there for Leo. And there you go, my darling. Tonight we're going to have a very simple dinner. We're not overly hungry. Glenn didn't eat his lunch until about three o'clock. And then when I've come back with Leo, we've ate crumpets and toast. So I'm not that hungry either. But I've been inspired by that tastiest burger that I had on Sunday. Oh man, it was so delicious. So I'm going to up my vegetarian burger game. Yeah, I am. Let me show you what I've got. I've got these meat-free burgers, I've got some mayonnaise, I've got a little bit of barbecue sauce, some burger sauce, some crispy onions, two burger rolls, cheese and tomato. Now if I can't make an amazing burger with all that, there's no hope. Anyway, let's give it a go. Let's compile this bad boy. Let's start with a bit of barbecue sauce, then the burger, and then some burger sauce. A bit of tomato, mm. a bit of cheese, I maybe not layered this correctly, some crispy onions and let's see what that bad boy tastes like. You ready for this Mr Warner? Good morning and welcome to Wednesday. Oh I'm feeling so much better but you wouldn't believe it, I woke up this morning, I can't hear in this ear at all feel like I'm underwater but other than that I am feeling fine mm -hmm. yeah scratch my glasses here I dropped them on the floor and I've got a massive scratch right over my eyes so I can actually only see out of this eye can it can't hear out of that ear can't see out of that eye oh it's going so well yesterday I gave myself a bit of a talking to yeah I did I got home from work and I just had this feeling that life's become a bit predictable in this like work come home cook dinner sit on the sofa i was like hold on a minute that, that's not what this was about i'm working two days a week not full time so i text my mum i said mum 
I'm just going to the cinema tomorrow. She goes, oh, yes, I do. So I'm looking forward to that. So I'm leaving here in a minute. Got to go to the office, dispatch some stuff, put an order in, do some boring stuff there. Then I'm going to my mum's, picking her up, going to go to the cinema. Then we're going to pick Leo up, all come back here. I'm going to cook something delicious for dinner. And then tomorrow, let's do more exciting stuff too. Yeah, I'm not settling. I'm not settling for this less than brilliant life. Yeah, I'm not. Anyway, come on, let's go. It is such a beautiful sunny day today. Well, me and the printer, we've been engaged in a disagreement. Admittedly, it ran out of paper and I didn't realise and I was pressing print, print, print and it wasn't working. I realised then it needed paper. I put the paper in, turned it on, turned it off, reset it, and it just kept saying no paper. I was like, you are kidding me. I've put paper in now. It's like, no. This went on for a good 15 minutes. In the end, came to its senses. It only had to print one piece of paper. That was all. Anyway, I'm over it now. My mail's done. I just got to stick it in the post box round in reception and then I'm off to get my mum and then we're going to the cinema. Hello. You all right? Oh, the sun is so bright. Not, not that I'm moaning, but I can't find a place where we're not in shadow. Anyway, I'm here with mum. We're going to the cinema. Come on, let's go. Oh, we're at this place. I hate this place, I really do. It's not my favourite, as we know. We're not here for the shops, we're here for the cinema. So here's the cinema, I've never been in this one before, Mum, it looks like a whopper. Oh, look at this. Oh, the kids would love it here. The kids would love this. Up we go. Are you on, Mum? Yeah. <laughs> Not only was that such a good film, beautiful, life-affirming, I do urge you to go and watch The Electrical Life of Louis Wayne. It was brilliant, but something very funny happened as we left. Look, I'll tell you when we get in the car. So, so what happened? <laughs> As we left the cinema, it was still quite low level lighting as the credits were rolling. And I said to mum, do you think you'll be all right on the steps? <laughs> and mum said, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I, I mean, there was only us and two other people <laughs> in there. Yeah, so it wasn't busy. We sat towards the back. So we go down the steps steadily, mm -hmm. don't we? You, you take me yeah. arm and mum's concentrating on the steps. I'm concentrating on mum doing the steps. We get to the bottom of the steps and then I turn right, which I thought was the way we came in. And then there was more steps, but these were in pitch black. There was no lights, was yeah. there? Just emergency exit at the bottom. I was like, this is all a bit odd. Anyway, I opened the emergency exit door and we were in some sort of service entry. <laughs> It wasn't the right way. So we had to go back up the dark steps and then we found the proper door to leave. I can't believe we Brilliant did that, film. to be honest. Anyway, what did you think of the film? Brilliant film. It was a very good film. I really enjoyed it. I urge you, go check it out. Even if you don't like cats. Even if you don't like cats. I didn't even know it was about cats. Mum loves cats as well. So all in all, very good. Yeah. The road to Leo's school is still shut, so we've got to go another way. I thought I knew another way, but I didn't. So we just stopped. I've just got my phone out so I can use the sat nav. My phone's flat. I want to say good morning, but it's actually nearly three o'clock. I um, was in a rush this morning, left my camera in the car all day on the seat, no less. Um, so I've been rushing around. This is the fi first minute I've had to uh, stop and record. Run, oh, look at the state of me, I don't know if you can catch that on camera, but I'm absolutely filthy. I had to empty all the rubbish down the tip from the CPT teams and that was nearly 300 kilos. And to be honest with you, did my back in a little bit doing it. I've got a few jobs I've got to run around and do while I'm out and about. So anyway, let's get on with the rest of what's left of the day. So we're here to pick Leo up. We're just telling Leo the story of us ending up in the, the back of the cinema. <laughs> where people shouldn't go. What do you reckon, Leo? We shouldn't be allowed out, should we? On our own. 
No. Anyway, come on, we need to stop at the shop on the way back because I need to get some food for tonight's dinner. And maybe if we stop at the shop, we can go in and see Auntie Debbie too. If she's not too busy. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go in and see Deb, see if she's there. Right, we've seen Deb now. We need to pop into Tesco's. So, do you remember I said that my phone was flat? My phone's been on charge. I was like, my phone's still flat. Panic. Then I realised I'd switched it off when I went in the cinema. Honestly, I, I don't know what I can say. A couple of cloves of garlic in there, some milk in there. Gonna put some cream in. And I'm gonna throw some rosemary in there as well. Right, let's boil those up for a bit. Stick the oven on. Right, that's ready to go in the oven. Right, we've got some salmon fillets going in. So I've just taken my mum home back. I'm gonna do the washing up, sit down, put my feet up. I've had a really lovely day with my mum. I'll catch you tomorrow. Both me and Mr Warner got a day off tomorrow. Good morning and welcome to Thursday. There are three glorious things about today. Yeah, number one, the sun is shining. Number two, both me and Mr Warner, we got a day off. We've got the whole day together, so I'm looking forward to it. And number three, Glenn is cooking a bacon sandwich. Mmm. Oh, I've got fake bacon. Glenn's got real bacon. Morning. We've had a long, leisurely it's 10 laying. In the morning. Ten o'clock. I mean, I was awake at five. Oh yeah, we've been awake. Man. Yeah, we've been awake for ages, but we just did that whole um. Drifting in and out of sleep. It was bloody lovely. Although I was dreaming at one point that I was in a pub and someone was giving me a traffic report telling me where all the roads were blocked. It was a bit random, but when I woke up, Glenn had put the radio on and I was obviously listening to the traffic report and it had translated into my dream. That was weird, but it was fine. Anyway. I am going to go and eat a delicious bacon sandwich and I'll catch you later. Fake bacon. The chilli jam's going to add a, add an element of deliciousness to this. Thank you. We've just thought about what we're going to do today. Look at the state of my hair. Look, and I've styled that as well. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, what are we going to do today? Well, we need to go into town and Mr. Warren needs to do some banking. And I think I'm going to join the library. Yeah. Someone in the comments last week, can't remember who, apologies if it's you, said that the library do audio books. Just saying. Yeah. National Trust for Christmas. Yeah. Senior citizen at the cinema yesterday, library today. What Glenn's saying is he thinks I'm getting old. I do not think these things indicate ageing. I think they indicate living well, which surely is the plan, whatever age you are. Anyway, uh, after that, I've just convinced Mr Warner to go for a walk. Yeah. And then I've just rang Harry and said, H, after you pick the kids up for school, let's meet halfway. We're picking Leo up and we can treat the kids to a McDonald's for dinner and we can catch up with H. Oh, what a day. Out of nothing we made that. Out of nothing. Come on, let's get going. Another beautiful day outside. Northamptonshire Museum has reopened. Guildhall is looking glorious in the sunshine. So that's the banking done. Now on to the library. It's the Warner waiting for me. I've just been into spec savers. So I've joined the library. I'll tell you all about that when we get back to the car. So very exciting day. New glasses, new library account. Right, so we're just dropping the books off at the car. Let me show you quickly what I got. I got this, Kate Humble, A Year of Living Simply. I thought that'd be a good one. Amazing Disgrace by Grace Campbell. And that's not all. 
Born Lippy by Joe Brand. So excited about those. Um, also excited about my new glasses. So as you know, my other ones are always wonky because I brought them right in the height of sort of lockdown. They just always kept falling off my face. So I've got some proper good fitting ones. So thumbs up. Well, we are managing to fit in a lot today. Not only are we going for a walk, Nan is just called and I said, do you fancy meeting us at Morrison's for coffee in about 20 minutes? She was like, yes. So if you've been watching for ages, you'll know just down here is the first marina where we actually stayed on the boat. I loved it here. I love the town centre location. Parking was a pain, but I loved being so close to town. Looks like they're doing loads of work at the lock, but we'll, what we'll do is we'll have a look at that when we walk back that way. So beautiful. So this is the lock that takes people onto the river and it's major works going on here. Oh, here's our lovely Naomi. So Naomi is our oldest, also called Nemo, and she's got three children, Ryan, Evie, Mia. Lots of boats down here because the lock's shut. Like, oh, while we're here, Glenn, we could get some something veggie for dinner. I like Morrison's plant-based revolution. Let's go. Naomi. <laughs> yeah, we're Dari twins, we are. So we just said goodbye to Naomi. Oh, it was so good to have a catch up and a chat with Nemo. It really was. So we got some shopping for dinner tonight. We're now going to go and do the school run, pick up Leo, and then on to meet Harry, Oliver and Lady. I'm looking for the parking ticket. There we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Four pound. Bingo. Right, let's go. I bought Naomi a jar of chili jam and sesame oil. Do you remember that recipe I made at the beginning of the week? Which was just so soy sauce, sesame oil, chili jam. It made such a lovely sauce. So Naomi was buying soy sauce anyway so I just bought the extra two ingredients I was like give it a try you know it's so lovely to see Naomi and I'm not saying this just because I'm a mum she is a lovely person we made that not a bad bone in her there's not a bad bone in her she is a good egg she really is is that Harry it is Harry oh let's see Oliver and Layla Darling, darling, tell us, where did you go? Bangeries. You went banger racing? Yeah. Oh, we've lost the kids now. They're all you know on tablets. <laughs> Leo's just said he's found me on Google. On oh, what? Oh, yeah, he has. I looked up myself and I have to find you. <laughs> Oh, look at the colour of the sky, it's gorgeous. Anyway, Harry's leaving now. So that's Leo dropped off back to the house now. I feel we've had a good day. Good morning and welcome to Friday. Have you got that Friday feeling? Have you? I have, most definitely. Mr Warner, oh, he struggled out of bed this morning. He struggled, he was feeling a bit ropey. We need to up our healthy eating game. That's what we need to do. Anyway, today, makeover, part two. Yes, I'm getting my hair cut. And we're going to Leicester. Yeah, it's a road trip to get a hair cut. I'm going with Beth. So there's so much that I like about this day already. Number one, I'm getting to spend some time with Beth. Yeah. Number two, getting a haircut. And number three, catching up with an old, old, old friend. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love a new do. Yes, I do. It's like a, the easiest way to, to reinvent yourself. It's foggy outside. Yeah. Cold, grey, foggy. I'm just going to quickly rush around, do a bit of tidying up before Beffy comes and then we'll be on our way. Morning and welcome to a very very cold friday morning i got to work this morning uh 8 30 it was very frosty it was minus four i think it's still minus one now 
I've actually got a bad back today, which I'm a bit sad about. And also, uh, I had a really rough night's sleep last night. Hasn't made me feel particularly special today. I'm gonna take it a little bit easy today. It's been going on, this side back pain's been going on for bloody ages, and I need to get it sorted out. So I know what Mrs. Warner would say, yoga. Let's get on with the day. I'm not doing masses amount of stuff today, because one, it's freezing cold. Two, um, I'm just gonna grip do, get out, do some walking, get rid of some litter. Anyway, I'll catch you a bit later. Effie's just arrived, we're off. Effie says it's real slippy out here today. She's been slipping and sliding. There's a whole queue of robots. We got two there and one in the middle. I think once the sun burns through this fog, it's gonna be a beautiful day. Well, that's my weather analysis anyway. This is where I have to queue to wait to get weighed in. I've just picked up loads of rubbish. Seems to be taking their time. You have to pay, well we don't have to pay, but most people have to pay. They weigh in, weigh out, and then whatever the difference is. And it's something, it, I wanna say it's something like 80p a kilo. I don't think it's that much, but it, it's, it's, it's more than you'd think it would be. So we are in Leicester. We got here in good time, didn't we Beth? Mm. We did, we did. Uh, the fog has cleared, the sun's come out, all is well in the world. We're early, but I've just spotted a Greg's. So we're gonna go and grab a coffee and maybe a vegan sausage roll, but it's next to a Salvation Army place. So we're gonna have, go in and have a mooch round. Beth spotted that, that's lovely, isn't it? Do you like it? Pick this up, it's only a five on. Well, that was a result. Beth got a coat, I got a scarf and a wooden box. So I'm here with Becky and she's gonna cut my hair. She's gonna make it look flipping fabulous. Look at that. I'm so chuffed with that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Beth is going in the chair next. <laughs> so Beth has a really funky haircut, which she cuts herself most of the time. I love Beth's hair. So I'm just stopped for a bit of lunch. My flask, I'm just gonna go and boil the kettle round here to get some hot water this is the old building basically and it's got a kitchen in the corner which i have keys for it might be open actually oh yeah it is should have a kettle there we go right i just got back i'm modeling my lovely blue new scarf for a quid from the charity shop i like that it's bargain i know i said i was buying nothing else i know but anyway, I like it, it was a quid. And I thought this would be perfect for craft supplies. I'm trying to sort out all the stuff under our bed. So that will be useful. Beth just dropped me off. I've got some editing to do and some stuff on the computer. And I'll catch up with you later. Actually, before I do any of my work on my computer, I'm gonna sit down and do what half an hour of reading i'm trying to get into the habit of reading every day so i'm going to sit down and uh give myself half an hour nobody knows what the story is but there's the house it's massive it's a big place and it's all overgrown there's a pool table in the middle window there's plasterboard in that window but no one's been here for years they reckon about five or ten years anyway just thought i'd show you Mr. Warner's on his way home, just put the kettle on, gonna make him a cup of tea. So Glenn has brought home some organic mushrooms that need using. These are from the food larder that they have where he works. So I'm gonna make some garlic mushrooms, I'm gonna make some garlic bread. I am going to make us a pasta dish. Mr. Warner doesn't fancy going out tonight, so yeah, staying in it is. So what I've done with the mushrooms i've cooked them in a bit of garlic butter and some parsley and also done some breadcrumbs with garlic olive oil and what i'm going to do i'm going to put these in a, a dish top them with the breadcrumbs put a bit of cheese on top whack them under the grill here we go i've stirred the breaded mushrooms the garlic all in with the pasta and I've had a little taste, and boy, it tastes good. Made some garlic cheesy bread. Got a little bag of salad. 
weren't too bad, was it? Dodgy I old know, I star. Think, I always think when I'm taking footage at work, and I, I'm, I think it's quite boring, to be fair. I like seeing what Mr Warner does I, at work. The thing is, I don't really show you much, because it's quite difficult to show you the actual job, because I need all my hands. <laughs> Well, you need one of those little GoPro like yeah, things, like don't you? That. And thanks for all your comments. Obviously, we had a lot of comments over the last few weeks as well. Yeah, thanks for sticking with us through this <laughs> through through this conundrum. It's not a conundrum. <laughs> It's just it's a conundrum. What is conundrum? That's on that's on countdown, isn't it? It is. It is. Yeah, it's yeah. not a conundrum. Okay. Um, Wrong word. Sometimes life just isn't sparkly and full of joy. The, the film that I went to see with my mum on Wednesday, let me try and paraphrase it, I won't do it any justice, but it was, he, his wife was dying and he said something like, I can't bear the world without you, you bring beauty to the world and she said, no, the beauty is already there, you've just got to look for it. And also, <clears throat> with a similar sort of theme to that sort of film is if you've ever seen Afterlife with Rick, Ricky Gervais. Oh yeah, I watched that. It's quite oh, sad last night. Oh, but, well, I was crying and all but sorts. It, it's, but... it's a worth a watch if you haven't seen it already. Yeah. If, even if, I know, yeah. It, yeah it's, 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 it's worth There's three series on that. Yeah. So, so yeah. anyway, sorry, rattling on a bit there. We're going to go. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, we'll see you next week. Take care. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.